Hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you're having a delightful day today. Today we will be looking at Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 through 6 and 16 through 18. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not pray like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. Today in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 1 through 6 and 16 through 18, we hear Jesus instructing his disciples on how to pray, give alms, and fast, but at the same time saying something much more important, which to me was the following that it's not just what you do, but how you do it. Your motivation and heart are what God sees, not just the act itself. And that God sees your heart and sees that act, and He is pleased or He is not. And from that we are rewarded or we are not. So let's look at what he mentions here today in this gospel from Matthew, specifically prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. Well, prayer is a good thing. It is our ongoing conversation with God. Relationships are built on strong communication, and prayer is our way through petition, praise, intercession, and thanksgiving of being connected to God. Prayer is not, I think Jesus instructs, standing on a corner or a tabernacle making a spectacle. Prayer strengthens our relationship and lifts up others. It's not about us and lifting us up. Almsgiving is a good thing through tithing or other mechanisms and otherwise, giving of our resources to those who have less, be it time, talent, or treasure, relieves their burdens and provides us the joy of giving. In our gospel today, Jesus implies it should be done with humility, with a focus on humanity to those receiving the aid It's not about my kindness, my goodness, my generosity, but rather sharing my blessings in a Christ-like way. Fasting is a good thing too, be it from food or drink or other things that we enjoy, TVs, computers, social media, vacations, whatever it might be. By denying ourselves, we gain discipline over our lives. And by offering these as gestures to God and filling our attention on Him 
and not on these worldly things is pleasing to him. I believe that Jesus is telling us that gestures like prayer, almsgiving, and fasting should be done in service to God to make us less reliant and slaves to things of the material world and focus rather on things of the eternal domain. Again, not drawing attention on us. At the beginning of this passage, Jesus told his disciples, take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly father. To me today, I hear Jesus saying, humble Jerome, stay humble. Do things to glorify me and my kingdom, not to build you up. He says, I see what you do in secret. Build me up, Jerome. Build me up. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle. And remember, our word of the day is our Father sees our heart. Until next time, be well and be blessed.